Argentina. When people think of Argentina, they think of tango, yerba mate, carne asada, and football. And Buenos Aires is one of the biggest football cities in the world. And in this video, we are about to visit some iconic stadiums of Buenos Aires. But first of all, I have to thank my guy over here, Senor Noberto. He was guiding me along the city, especially being a solo traveler. You know, there are some places which we are not familiar with, which may or may not be safe. Yeah, so this is his card. So if anybody wants to have a tour or whatsoever, at an affordable price, I would say, please contact this man. I can tell you, this man is an honest and very helpful guy. Very nice fella. Señor Noberto, mi amigo. Si estás mirando este video, me gustaría agradecerte por todo y te deseo lo mejor, como siempre, que Dios te bendiga. Un abrazo. Ok, let's start this video with one of the biggest clubs in Argentina, River Plate. Hola, ¿qué tal chicos? Hola. Ah, ¿cómo entra? Gracias. We have entered the gallery of River Plate. As we enter the museum, we were led into a red zone which shows the history of the club throughout the years. There are specific rooms for every single decade that will show you fixtures, results, League position, football tactics for every single season. Then we entered the trophy room. Too much gold, my eyes can't take it. After that, we were led to a room where the club paid tribute to all its players. You want to see how many legends this uh, club produced? Uh, let me show you a quick one. Fredo Di Stefano, my guy, Burra Ortega, 2005 Champions League loser. Fabian Crespo, Limicellis. We got Joe Ho's very own. Pablo Aima, look at that. Mascherano, my guy. One of the most important person in river history. Fantastic footballer, but what an amazing coach. Finally, we entered the room, which displays all the club's jerseys, past and present. Before heading out of the museum through the football club store. Yeah, so we are out of the museum. What a beautiful museum it is. Unfortunately, we can't enter the premises of the stadium because today we have the World Cup qualifiers, Argentina and Paraguay. But you can see from the outside how huge this is. Look at that, we've got Camry Cruz. Camry Cruz having pre-match interviews. Oh, yes. Si, si, una camera. <laughs> Para discreto. Yeah. Sí, ¿Van a traer el partido? No, no. ¿Vos? ¿Vos? Sí, 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 no, no, I visité el museo, no. quiero ver, monumental. Porque te puedo conseguir si querés algo. Para, no, no, para, porque... Para ver el partido a la noche. No, en la noche... Ya te va. Con mi, sí, con mi amigo. Ah. Dentro, ah. y una oficial me dije, no compra claro. de, de la calle, no compra No, te digo. Ven, sí, ah. pero, pero yo no tengo intención para... Para ver. Para ah. ver. Sí. Este es su equipo. Sí, sí, sí. River. Sí. River. Ah. Loco. 
Loco, eh. Están todos locos. Yo podría sí, andar por ahí, ¿no? Sí, okay. Okay. Ah, got a river fan. River plate fan. Trying to help me out with some tickets, but I'm a low abiding guy. Look at that. From the outside. Look at that. This massive Bamba Cloud Stadium. entrance is this way i don't know why they have all these barriers anyways if you're wondering we are in the town of no not in the town but in the neighborhood called nunez the game is at 8 pm now it's only like 11 am we've got all these like broadcasting vans already set up police you know, fans of the argentine flags they are ready bro i'm a listo Vamos Argentina. So we have arrived in La Paternal, the stadium of Argentinos Juniors. This stadium is called the Diego Maradona Stadium. It is known to have murals of Maradona. So let's check out the murals of the goat. Yes, the goat, not Messi. Diego Maradona. Inside the club store, this is the tienda. Like a shrine, está cerrado. Bueno, está bien. Podemos ver desde afuera. So throughout the circumference of the stadium. There are murals of Maradona throughout every stage of his life. So sit back and enjoy some of these murals. I think this one is my favorite mural. Look at that. Peter Shilton, Hand of God, 1986. What a legend. What a moment. We have arrived in the neighborhood called La Boca, home of one of the most famous teams in Argentina, Boca Juniors. This is a street outside the famous Bombanero. Look at that. Massive. The fans of Boca Juniors are called by their rivals as Bosteros because this beautiful stadium was once a manure factory. So Bosteros are people who dealt with horse manure. So yeah, that's a little bit of history and how Boca Juniors become blue and yellow. The people here, they wanted to decide the colors of their team but they, they had no idea so what they thought of is to go to the port which is over there and then whatever ship appears that will represent the club colors and the first ship they saw had a flag from Sweden and that's why this club is represented blue and yellow Boca Juniors Bosteros unbelievable club Unbelievable stadium. It's entered the, the museum. Uh, we have entered the museum of Boca Junior. As we entered the museum, we were greeted with life-size cutout of Boca Junior's legend like Diego Milito, Palermo, Roman Riquelme, and Fuerte Apache's own Carlito Tevez. Then we were led to a wall which displays all the iconic jerseys throughout its history. And while heading up the second floor through a curving slope, the club paid tribute to the neighborhood outside the stadium with a diorama of La Boca. As we reached the second level, we were displayed with photos of the club's legend and happy memory.
There was also a display of the trophy cabinet. If you are a fan of historical data and statistics, you can go to this ball and take a look at all the fixtures and results of a particular year. Here you can see the evolution of the stadium throughout the years and a wall for the ex-managers. The club also had one special wall dedicated to Diego Armando Maradona. Check out this photo. Man was sniffing. Here's another view of the whole wall. And also the artist. In this section, there's a collection of football memorabilia of important games in their history. The museum also preserved a rock, which was from the old stadium in 1938 also paid tribute to every single funder for this particular museum by putting stars on this particular wall. And of course we end the museum tour by exiting through the club store. This is the neighborhood of La Boca, parts of it, you know. We are walking to El Caminito, which is the tourist area for this neighborhood. This is the very famous bar which has Diego Maradona, footballer, Eva Perón, and I forgot his name, but the king of tango. Buenas tardes, chicos, bienvenidos. ¿Dónde nos visitamos? Taxi, taxi. Taxi, amen. Okay, so we have entered the Caminito. This is Caminito, located in the neighborhood of La Boca, which the locals have countlessly advised not to visit alone, especially at night. Here we can already see the amount of artwork and handcraft sold and of course the colourful houses at the back. restaurants, bars, and also cool souvenir shops, which makes this neighborhood a very popular tourist destination. I would highly recommend you to come here and embrace the Boca Juniors and Tango culture. So I was about to end the video and then we kind of passed by this street over here where we have two stadiums within walking distance and this stadium are stadiums for Racing Club and look out there a few meters away Interdependiente even closer than Liverpool and Everton I guess these two are huge rivals the Racing Club Racing club over here is famous for Diego Milito, from what I know. Look at the distance. This is Racing Club. This is Interpendiente. Well, that is mad near. I think it's less than it's less than three minutes slow walk. So I don't know. During game day, maybe they. Policing would be a little bit tough. Bro, this is like a random shop <laughs> outside of the stadium. It's a sandwich. Seven Copa Libertadores. Independiente. How do I say? Inde Interdependiente. Seven Copa Libertadores. 
So, if you wanna see two stadiums in one minute, yeah, you can drop by this park the football and see these two mega clubs in a bit, guys. Yeah. 